Hi guys, so I thought I'd just jump on the charts and record this quick video of a couple of positions that I've uh, got running at the moment on Great British Pound, US Dollar. One position I had running still from yesterday and I've scaled another position in um, this afternoon in New York. So that was yesterday's position and this is the position I got in just now in New York. So a bit of context. <clears throat> First of all, this chart here. This is the weekly market profile chart. And I could see last week we closed having set a poor high. So I knew there was going to be liquidity sitting above there. So all I was going to do for um, yesterday was wait for price to come up, do a liquidity sweep, and then start selling off back down towards this volume cluster where I expect us to find some sort of uh, acceptance. So that's what that looked like. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's what that looked like on the weekly. Well, I need more confidence than that. So I then had the daily chart, and I could see the same again. This area here was that poor high, which is an unfinished auction. And uh, I could see in London, we came up and tapped into the poor high. So I was very confident that in New York, we would be sweeping the London liquidity of yesterday's session and also last week's poor high up until another level, which is where I drew this blue line here, which is a prior historical uh, market profile value area high. This was from many, many, many weeks ago. They're still valid, you know. So as you can see, we came up, swept London liquidity, swept and repaired the poor high. And then we started to reject. So that was that confluence. Got more confluences again on this custom profile chart here. Same principle applies. The poor high, I'd just wait for that to be took. And then I'd look for my entry. So another confluence there. If you were just using a naked candlestick chart, you'd be looking probably at your four hour candlesticks or your daily candlesticks and looking to try and locate what they call an order block. But given the information that we have these days uh, with the futures data and the futures charts and how I set them up, we have so much more information at hand, which can allow us to make uh, better informed trading decisions. Um, I also had, see if I can actually uh, find it. This is the footprint chart. I'll just scroll across to yesterday. There we are. And we can see. So this was during London yesterday. We can see we had a lot of selling taking place. And this here was creating that equal high from the poor high of the previous session. So I was waiting for that to be swept, all this liquidity, and then looked for that rejection. So coming into the afternoon, we can see here, we had an increase in buying and volume up into the area of interest, delta flip. We've got absorption taking place within this candle where we had aggressive buyers getting absorbed by passive sellers. So we had passive sell limit orders getting filled, massive, increase in sell side delta and volume and then the market sold off so that's what the footprint chart looked like yesterday for my positions i did get a couple of extra positions in which i posted on the, the socials yesterday on instagram and into our discord community showing my positions uh, and taking profits on some of those but i did decide i'd leave the one running as i expected to see a bit of further downward continuation which is what we've seen today. So that was yesterday's positioning. 
which was up there. I had extra confirmations as well on some of my other charts. But, um, I go into that in more detail on the course. And then today I wanted to get uh, another position in. So I waited for New York. This was going to be my potential area of interest, which is the volume cluster on the point of control on the custom session chart, which was in alignment with yesterday's value area high, which is this horizontal line there. So that's what I was looking at there. And also this area is also in alignment with for extra confluence. My Pelecki 2 VRAP, which is one of my studies I set. So I have multiple confluences there to start looking for a position to get short. Should we get there? And news took price up to the pip into this area. So accurate. And then, as you can see, we started to reject. Upon seeing this rejecting, I managed to get a position in um, because it was straight after the news. Uh, the slippage was quite immense, so I didn't get as tight an entry as what I'd like to have done. But it's still good enough. And then, as you can see, we came down towards this area here. We've currently got a single print there, which is being defended. So I'm hoping we're going to see a little bit of rejection back down. And then I'll scale this position out shortly and take profits on that. I'll probably take profits on half of this position as well. And then I'll just leave uh, the other half running to do what it wants. Uh, Hoping, hoping that we're going to get back down towards this single print area straight, this value area on the daily. So that was basically my analysis the last couple of days for getting short positions in. Um, as I say, it's a lot more information we have as institutional traders using these tools and the data that we're able to get these days compared to the retail crowd that are just using naked candlestick charts and ultimately they're just guessing in their candlesticks where the order blocks are and where the valid orders are going to be but we have a lot more information than that which we can actually see real time the orders that are taking place uh, on our charts so with that said hope you got a little bit of value from that and uh, no doubt i'll catch you again on another video in the future all right nice one cheers guys